Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today, I'll be talking about the first day of February, Thursday the 1st. The moon is in Libra for the third consecutive day till 9 p.m. Universal Time. This will be the best of times if you're an air sign, meaning if you're uh, Libra, if you're Scorpio, if you're, excuse me, if you're Gemini, if you're uh, Aquarius. At uh, 9 p.m. Universal Time, the moon will move to Scorpio and then everything will change. Uh, uh, the square between Scorpio and um, between the moon and the sun will make it probably a little bit um, difficult if you're Taurus and uh, if you're Leo. So how is it going to be for all signs? Aries, uh, the moon in Libra for the third consecutive day may uh, push some buttons. You may feel a little bit tense. Things will change in the evening, so take it accordingly. You should be uh, more... Uh, uh, more confident and uh, take a deep breath and let things flow uh, smoothly with no problems. Taurus, try to solve issues, everything, uh, wrap things up, the day wrap it up before the moon moves to Scorpio. Uh, this is your best bet. Things may get a little bit uh, tough or rough or tense in the evening or maybe in the late afternoon, especially if you were born on the 10th, 11th of May. Gemini, this is a beautiful, gorgeous day with the moon in Gemini, with the moon in um, Libra. There's a grand trine between the moon, your sign, and the sun. This is a gorgeous day. The uh, probability of of scoring really high, high is uh, almost ninety eight percent astrologically speaking. So basically, it's a beautiful, gorgeous day, especially if you were born on the 21st, 22nd of May. This is because there's a grand trine from Pluto, which is in Aquarius. Cancer with the moon in, uh, in Libra, it's, uh, it's a fine day. You may... Uh, meet your parents, you may meet your, your relatives, uh, you may discuss certain issues, but in the evening, uh, when the moon moves to Scorpio, everything will be even better. You may resolve, uh, resolve some issues and everything will be quite okay. And this is how it's going to extend till Friday, uh, till Saturday, actually. So enjoy. Leo, with the moon in Libra, you seem to be quite um, persistent, quite confident, optimistic, and ready to participate. But when the moon moves to Scorpio in the late evening, things may get a little bit tough. You may have some doubts. You may not feel that, um, you may not feel at ease. So th you may even change your mind. So plan accordingly. Virgo, this is a fine day, whether the moon is in Libra or in Scorpio, everything seems to move uh, well if you have things uh, organized and scheduled. It's, it's going to be a busy um, Thursday, but it's fine. I think everything should be under control. Libra with the moon in your sign, definitely this is a gorgeous day. It's like a new beginning. It's like a new step. It's like moving forward. It's like um, uh, winning something, you know? It's like getting over some obstacles. You may even change your mind. You may even move a new direction. Whatever you want to do, try to do it before the moon le leaves, leaves your sign. Scorpio, everything is still on hold. I think this is tough. It was uh, on hold or it is on hold since uh, actually Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, 8 a.m. Universal Time and tough and rough. So things will stay like this till 9 p.m. Universal Time. After that, everything will change. Uh, the moon reaches your sign and that's your cue to move forward. Everything will be great uh, between um, that moment and uh, Sunday, 6.30 a.m. Universal time, of course. Moving to Sagittarius, try to wrap things up before the moon moves to Scorpio. This is your best bet. You seem to be quite uh, interested in things. You want to participate. You're optimistic. You're, uh, you're happy. And this is great. Things should move very, very smoothly. But my advice to you is wrap things up before the moon reaches Scorpio because everything will be, will stand still till Sunday, 6.30 a.m. 
Capricorn, I love this day, although the moon in Libra squares your sign, but then everything will be quite okay. You seem to be capable of doing whatever you want. You have Venus in your sign. Uh, you are under the spotlights, I know, but I think astrologically you're fine. But planet Mars is near your sign, so you have to be more careful, drive carefully, stay away from trouble. If you were born between the 11th and the 14th, 15th of January. Aquarius, I love this day. Definitely the moon in, Aqu in Libra is beautiful. It empowers you with, uh, with brightness, smartness, skills, and good luck. Things will stay like this. Maybe when the moon moves to Scorpio in the evening, you'll still be fine. So uh, maybe you'll feel a little bit tired because uh, you've been restless and uh, very, very active. But be careful if you were born between 21st, 23rd of January, that's planet Pluto near your birthday. Pisces, I love this day. Everything's to be okay if you know how to organize your time and your chores. Try not to overwhelm yourself in all cases. In the evening, things may be easier because the moon will be in Scorpio in trine with your sign. So try to... Um, plan accordingly. Don't overwhelm yourself, especially if you were born between the 25th and the 27th of February. Let's wrap it up with born on the 1st of February. This should be a beautiful year with great projects, great aspirations, great dreams, and maybe great achievements. Plan your work uh, on a solid foundation and you'll be quite fine. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.